Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Father Scott Steinkirchner, coming to you from Martin de Porres House in Oak Park, Illinois. And we have an interesting gospel today. We have two sayings of Jesus that seem to pull in opposite directions, which means there's got to be something deeper going on there. So the first one is, John complains, there are people healing in your name, Jesus, and they're not part of us. Make them stop. And Jesus says, no, no, no. No one who heals in my name can then speak ill of me. If they're not against us, they're for us. It's a message of inclusion, right? Don't try and draw boundaries like John's trying to do. Well, we're the people who speak in your name. We're part of your group. They're not. Uh, they are, if they're speaking in his name or healing in his name. But then the very next statement is one that pulls in the other direction. Whoever causes one of these little ones to believe in me to sin, better for a millstone around his neck. And then it goes into our familiar, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. Better for you to enter Gehenna with one hand than to burn in those fires forever. It's a message of exclusion, especially when it's given now to the church, which is the body of Christ. So as a church to think, if one of our members causes us to sin, we're to cut them off and throw them away, cast them out of the church, rather than corrupting the whole church. It seems to be what Jesus is saying to us. But it's not like they're being cast off by Jesus himself or cast off by God. Because those who are even cast off, not part of this group, this body, God can still give them their reward and they will get their reward. So, an interesting middle ground. If we need to cut ourselves off from someone because they're leading us astray, they're causing us to do things that we don't want to do or leading us away, do it. Do what you have to do to stay true to the gospel. But don't think that God is there for casting them away, or ultimately they won't be brought back in someday, because in heaven we'll all be there, and God will not cast them off just because you today feel a need to cast them off. Now, before I go, we have coming up October 24th, a Thursday a week before Halloween, the Provincials Dinner, and it's a fancy dinner in downtown Chicago uh, where a lot of us get together, Dominicans and friends of the province, and I invite you to come join us there. I'll be there, of course, and so will a lot of the preachers for food for, the, for, for a word of hope. So I'll put a link under in the show notes here so you can uh, come if you'd like to. It'll give you more information about that. I would love to see you and to have a chance to hear from you. How do you like Word of Hope? What could we do better? How can we better serve you and bring more hope to the world? God bless you.